Hi, just a quick video um, on a issue what I'm having with the Tsuan DVR system. It's similar to what I've had previously, um, where there was a faulty capacitor here, which related to uh, no recording, um, and uh, sometimes the device would freeze and things like that. This time around, um, the, the what I've come across with, again, the device is not recording, and there's no movement on the hard drive. So let's just do a quick troubleshooting on that and uh, get to the bottom of what the cause of it. So that's the original power supply that comes with the uh, device. That, um, and it's rated at 12 volt, 2000 milliamp. Okay, so as you can see that uh, the device, just ignore these fans, I've, I've, I've put them on additionally just to tr sort of... Uh, ensure that the device runs as, 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 as cool as possible. So the lights are on, okay, and on screen, let me just give you an idea. There you go, it's loading on, on the screen. Okay, now, basically, first thing first is, because there's no movement on the uh, dry, drive, I was checking the rail for the hard drive itself. Um, and uh, let's see what voltage we get on the hand drive rail. So I'm going to first check the uh, yellow yellow connection or the cable, and that should be by default about 12 volt. It's showing as 8.1. Okay, let's check the red. 5.1. Okay, so this yellow cable is not giving out 12 volts to the hand drive as a result of that. The hand drive is not sort of spinning. Okay. So the next part, what I would like to check is, because there's no sort of um, obvious signs of damaged components um, or burnt out components and things like that, I'm, I'm going to straight sort of uh, go into the, the DC input and see what voltage is coming up. So when I say it's, it's this connector here and, and the DC in, in board basically, so... Ah, it's 8.5. 5 volt when it should be 12 volt okay so what does that tell you obviously it's the power power supply that's damaged actually if you take it out of the unit it's shown as 12.32 which seems fine but as soon as you put load onto the power supply the power supply sort of malfunctions 10 volt and it will go down as soon as the system starts sort of loading further it, it should drop the voltage down hence that's the reason why basically the uh, device is, is not sort of uh, uh, functioning properly so I'm going to unplug this get rid of that I have another power supply here, which is this. Let's check the voltage input on that. If I can, if I can connect to the uh, internal pin, if my probe go, yep, there we go. It's twelve point three six four. Right, so I'm going to input this. Okay, now let's probe around. And yes, certainly I can I can feel the movement on the hard drive. It is clicking. Let's check the SATA connection. It's twelve point zero nine volt. And the red cable five point one zero volt. Okay, let's check the DC in Twelve point zero eight volt. So it was an obvious, obvious problem. Of, you know, I, I thought that the PCB's gone on it, but then coming to realise that it wasn't, it's the power supply that's packed up. So uh, thankfully, I don't have to replace the unit, or I don't have to go through a nightmare of sort of uh, troubleshooting this uh, further. So I hope this was a, a helpful video. Thank you for watching.